what's up everybody and so yeah, I know a lot of you are probably wondering you know what happened to me and this is something that I didn't really get into detail about that I feel you guys deserve to know the truth about a lot of you are wondering if I'm okay what's going on the answer is yes and no. Yes, physically, I'm all right. But emotionally and financially, at this point, not really. And as soon as I finish inviting everybody, I will explain to you guys what exactly happened that day. And how I ended up with this on my arm for six weeks straight. And why I'm stuck in bed except for doing dishes. And you see, I want was attacked but not in the way that you think you see I was out doing my job as a photographer you know I was you know, out getting some pictures and stuff, you know, to update my portfolio. Because, you know, that's what I do whenever I'm not working on music. I'm usually out, you know, working on stuff like that. Well, I decided to take my board because it was a nice day out. I decided to take my skateboard out, skate up to the best spot that I know of, which is right out the street here at the top of the hill. Really good scenic spot. And I mean, really good scenic spot. And you know, I got up on my board because like the height is just perfect for getting that really good shot. And so I was up there on my board, you know, trying to get a picture. I actually had this on hand. Um, give me just a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Let me go let the dog back in. And I'll explain everything. So give me just one moment. Alright, sorry, they go on back. But, like I said, I was up there, you know, getting some pictures. When the brother of my, literally my enemy, Andrew, who's a real dick. He's a guy that I've known for a few years around here. He's a real asshole. His brother decided it would be funny. And while I was on my skateboard to come on his bike and kick me down the hill. And the hill that I sat at the top of, it's an S-shaped hill, and it's at a slant like this. And I'm not just talking some small slant, I'm talking a really good sized one. So what does he do? He sees me up there at the top of the hill getting some photos to update my portfolio. And decides to kick me down the hill while I'm on my board. 
And at first, I'm like, all right, this motherfucker's going to do this. He sends me down the hill and me being a skater for most of my life. You know, I grew up skating, you know, with my friends, family. You know, I've been to skate parks. And, you know, usually, you know, you drop in. So, I mean, I was used to the kind of angle that he was sending me down. But what I wasn't prepared for is what happened next. I get sent down the hill doing about 30 miles an hour. About halfway down, my front truck on my board gives out, sends me forward, sends me airborne. I land on this part of my arm right here, on the top part of my arm, because when I fell, I went like this. So my arm's dragging me like this. I scorpion over, which means my foot goes up over my head from behind. I flip forward. And I guess the angle that I flipped at when I did it, I somehow rather ended up and wound up, you know, scraping up not only my arm, I dislocated my shoulder, dislocated a bunch of my fingers, which I managed to, you know, get popped back into place. But this man did attack me. He attacked me by kicking me down a hill, knowing how dangerous that drop was. And I've been on that drop many times before. I've been on it with my bike, been on it with my board. But this time was different. This man cost me a job. This man damn near killed me. And for what reason? just to get some laughs. And in case you guys are wondering, no, none of my gear was broke, thank God. But if you guys look right here on my bag, you guys can see, because this is what I usually carry all my gear in. But if you guys look real close, right here, you can see the scuff marks from where I slid. I want to tell you, these things don't scuff that easy. But if it wasn't for this piece right here, if it was not for this bag, my back would be totally destroyed right now and I might be in the hospital even worse than what I was. I got home. First thing we did was got me to the hospital. Had a dislocated shoulder three dislocated fingers on top of the road rash I've got. The doctor said it'll take about six weeks for everything to fully heal because of how bad and extensive the injury Not just because of, you know, it's not just because of the impact, it's the way my body had tumbled during the impact. And what happened to this man? Not a goddamn thing. Got away scot free because the cops around here won't do a fucking thing. This man cost me the opportunity of a lifetime. The opportunity to work with some of the biggest names in the horror industry. Doing something I've always enjoyed doing, which is acting. Granted, it was to scare people, but all the same, it's a job acting. $40 to $50 a night for four weeks. Man, that's money I could have used to change my family's life for good. 
Because what I was going to do with that money is I was going to put it in the bank and draw interest off it. And I was going to live off that interest. But because of this man's vile actions and what he did to me, I lost out on that opportunity. And I'm pretty sure that man is watching right now. And if you are watching, I want you to know that the next time I see you at all, I don't care if there's cops around. I don't care who's around. Next time I see you, I am kicking your fucking ass for what you did to me. You almost killed me. I almost died on that hill because of you. Alright, I'm lucky that I walked away with just a few dislocated bones and a little bit of whiplash and a road rash. You cost me not only the opportunity of a lifetime, you cost me the opportunity to change my family's life for the better in a real big way. Because of you, I'm laid up in bed for six weeks straight. Not able to do a damn thing except doing dishes. That's the only thing I'm even, I'm able to do. And even with that, I'm having to do it a little bit at a time because of you. My legs are fucked up, my shoulders are fucked up, and my hands are fucked up. All because of what? You wanted to get a few laughs? You thought it'd be funny to get some revenge on me after I told you to fuck off? After you trespassed on my family's property at 10 at night. You think you know me, kid. But you don't know shit. You don't know anything about me. You don't know what I'm capable of doing. And I guarantee you, I see you. You're going to find out real quick. Just how fucking fast I can drop you. Yeah, you may be taller, but you know what, dude? I'm a lot quicker than you. And I'm not just saying that. I can back up what I say. So I hope you're happy with the fact that I'm laid up in bed for six weeks. And I hope you're happy that you cost me that opportunity to change my family's life. And to do one of the jobs I really enjoy doing. Do you not understand that you almost fucking killed me? Alright, if it wasn't for my fucking bag, I'd be dead right now. Because not only did that back part where the scuff marks hit save my ass... But because this right here kept me a few inches off the ground, I didn't slam the back of my head into the fucking ground and split my fucking head open. So yes, this is the best piece of the best fucking piece of gear I've ever, ever owned in my fucking life. Courtesy of Crystal. This was actually her boyfriend or husband's father's camelback who served in the United States Army. This thing is seen two to three tours of Iraq. So not only do I have this, but I'm thankful to have this because this saved my fucking life. You know, you're lucky I'm alive right now. And I'm sure you're at home probably watching this laughing your ass off. But you know what? Next time I see you, I swear to God I'm kicking your fucking ass. Because you damn near killed me. You put me up in the fucking hospital. 
And then you got me on fucking better as for six weeks. And because of you, I'm losing out on thousands of dollars doing something I really enjoy. Because of you, I have to wait till next year to take that opportunity. And you think that's fair to me? That's not fair at all. You don't know how many times since then I have fucking just been so pissed off. You have no idea how bad I want to beat your scrawny little fucking ass. What's up, Flaco? If you guys are just now joining this live stream, I want you guys to know what happened. The other day, about two days ago, I was out with my new bendable tripod and I was skating around on my board getting some really cool photos and shit that would be in my photography portfolio on Facebook, which if you guys would like to view it, you guys can. It's underneath my albums. It's in my albums underneath photography and photography art. But I was out getting some pictures to update that. And there's this one really sweet spot at the top of a hill. It's like an S-shaped hill. But I mean, it was a really sweet spot. And I mean, real sweet spot. And standing on flat ground, you can't really get that super nice picture like you could when you're standing on top of something. So I grab my board, I hop up there, and I go to get the shot. Next thing I hear as I'm grabbing the shot, I hear, hey, asshole. And I fucking turn around, and one of my enemy's brothers decides to kick me down the fucking S-shaped hill. And by the time I got down, halfway down the hill, I must have been doing about 30 miles an hour. Halfway down, the front truck of my skateboard gives out. I go flying forward. I land arm down like this. Like with this part of my arm right here facing down. So I'm like this. So basically my arm, it scrapes right here and then rolls. And as I'm rolling, my body scorpions over, meaning my legs went, you know, back up this way towards the back of my head. I flipped over, and thankfully to the camel back that I have, um, I landed and I basically buried and slid down the rest of the way. My tripod, my phone, all that went flying out of my hand. Thankfully, this is a ball joint tripod, so it just basically went like that, but I can easily just, you know, I can pop it back into place. So thankfully, this didn't get broke. None of my photography gear got broke. None of my film gear got broke. But when I got home, I ended up with two sets of road rash on this arm, a dislocated shoulder, and three or four dislocated fingers because of how I landed. And this man cost me the opportunity of a lifetime. And because of this man and what he did, I'm now laid up in bed for six weeks. You all right? You know, and it, 
and kills me because of what this man did. I lost out on the chance to work with some of the biggest names in the horror industry. Some of the biggest names that have created movies like Halloween. You know, the Chucky series. The Freddy vs. Jason movies. And even some of the newest movies like Carrie. Um, the Nun. Slender Man. Some of the biggest names in horror. I lost out on a, the biggest opportunity of a lifetime to work alongside those guys as an actor for the seven floors of hell this year in Cuyahoga Falls. I can afford it at 50 bucks a night, which could have changed my family's life forever. And, you know... That was money I could have changed my family's life with in a real big way. Because I was going to put that money away and let the interest build for a few months. And then I was slowly going to, you know, live off of it. Live off the interest. Be smart. Invest in myself. Invest in things that I can actually benefit from that would further my career, not only you know, as a YouTuber, but as a filmmaker, as a director, as a photographer. But all that went out the window in a matter of seconds. All because this man wanted to get a few laughs. And those few laughs that he got from that almost cost me my fucking life. So here I am, laid up in bed for six weeks. Yes, my shoulder and my fingers are back in place. They're fine. But my elbow, my arm, not so good. My leg, not too good. And it kills me. Because of this man, the most I can do is get up and do a few select little bit of dishes. And that's about it. That's all I can really do. Other than that, I'm laid in bed all day, every day for six weeks straight because of this man. Because of this man, I lost out on a dream of mine to work with some big names in the film industry. And because of what this man did, I lost that opportunity. I lost an opportunity that could have changed not only my life, but my family's life forever. Because of this man, I now forever have a messed up wrist. I now forever have a messed up shoulder and messed up hands. This whole arm is so severely damaged because of this man that it hurts to even lift my arm at times. But like I said, and this is going out to the person who did this to me, I guarantee you, I ever see you ever again, I will beat your fucking ass. I don't care who's around. I don't care who's watching. I will get my payback for what you did to me. Not only did you almost kill me, but you cost me the opportunity of a lifetime. An opportunity that not very many get. That a very select few get the chance to do. And because of you, I lost that opportunity. Because of you, I have to wait until next October to take that opportunity. And do you think that's fair to me? 
Do you think that's fair to my family? No. It's beyond unfair. What you did to me is uncalled for. Because of you, I am living with this on my arm for six weeks straight, barely able to move my fucking arm. Barely able to move without being in pain. I can barely sleep at night because of how bad the pain is. And I hope you're fucking happy with yourself. Because of you, I lost so much. I lost a lot because of you. And if I don't kick your ass, I hope to God someday somebody comes along and fucking buries you alive for what you did to me. You deserve to have your ass beat for what you've done to me. You not only took from me, when you took that opportunity from me by doing what you did, you not only took from me, but you took from my family. And I hope you're happy with yourself. You fucking asshole. You're an evil fucking asshole. And I hope you rot in hell for what you've done to me. Like I said, when you decided to shove me down that hill, at that moment, And you not only took from me, you not only took that opportunity from me, but you took the opportunity away from my family for me to be able to change their lives forever, for the better. And I hope you go to sleep with that fucking guilt. I hope to God that guilt eats you alive. And I hope to God that you rot in hell for what you've done to me and my family. Because you deserve it. You deserve to rot in hell for what you've done to me and my family. You not only took from me, but you took from my family. I'll see you in hell, asshole.